Hello again YouTube, this is Steve and welcome back to um, Moo Online, uh, private server playing and we're working with the Dark, the Dark Knight here. Uh, last episode we got to level 150, well kind of sort of, I capped it out to 150 uh, off camera. And we are back to uh, upgrade to the next class. We are to upgrade our class today. Um, we're gonna probably work on trying to make some wings if we have the go if the, if we have the Zen to do it, <clears throat> and um, probably check out a couple more maps and stuff like that. Um, while you guys were away, I found an axe, an excellent axe that does more damage than the dragon lance, the two-handed dragon a dragon lance. Um, I found some boxes and metals and stuff like that that I just dropped and got these jewels from. So that's where I got those from. Uh, <clears throat> I wanted to show you um, on this particular server, this this private server, uh, they give us the commands to add stats. Normally, I would have to click on this um, 760 times in order in order to add strength, uh, but we can just do add str for strength, agi for agility, vit for stamina, vitality, uh, or ENE for energy. So we're going to add strength 760 and there we go. Now we have, you saw our damage go up quite a bit there um, and that will increase. Also today we want to check out this uh, <clears throat> this vendor here and see if we can switch our gear out for something better. Let's see. Can we afford this? 240,000? Oh yeah. Yeah, let's upgrade to dragon armor. So we'll delete. We'll sell these back. Let's just take off all of this because I'm going to have the gold for it. Also today, uh, or the other day, I found this ring. Um, this is part of the stuff that dropped out of the uh, the boxes and metals and candy boxes and stuff like that. Um, it comes with damage decrease, which is just 4%. I just take 4% less damage, which is awesome. Uh, this pendant here, uh, we put this on for the HP recovery. Wizardry damage doesn't affect the Dark Knight. Um, that would be for your sorcerer, your magic gladiator, not sorcerer, uh, wizard, magic gladiator, and summoner. Um, when wizardry, and when it's plus level divided by 20, that's really, really good. Uh, because when you get to 400, uh, that means your wizardry damage is increased quite a bit. Uh, however, <coughs> on the private server here, we're looking for damage um, increase percentage uh, stats. That's what we're looking for. So... Um, let's hook myself up here with these. Notice these are all plus six compared to the plate armor that we just had on that was all plus five. So that means we're getting that much more benefit from this, uh, these upgrades. So, all right, let's look at damage here. We're looking at 31 to 86. This is 80, uh, 94 to 120. That's probably our best one. Yep. <clears throat> Bill of Balrog, uh, very popular weapon, especially if you can find an ex uh, excellent version of it. Let's throw that on there, and then I also, now that we're 150, I wanted to go back to Lorencia and check out the vendor that to the south and grab that Swell Life ability that we saw in the vendor last episode. <clears throat> so we'll do that, and then I think Rageful Blow is something that we're gonna have to uh, I don't know if it's something we can buy can we buy it no so let's let's buy an orb of swell our swell life orb okay and then we'll right click on that to learn it come down here <coughs> excuse me we'll assign that to um, four uh, I've designated personally for myself one to be for single target two for to be AOE which we should technically put this AOE but it'll work and then, uh, ooh, this comes with a cyclone skill. Very nice. Let's check that out. And then I have two for AOE, three for like a heal, uh, and then four and five for my buffs. That's kind of generally what I do. Oh yeah, that's a really good single target. So let's put that as one, uh, one, two. Yeah, we'll do that. And then let's come back into our hunting ability here and we'll do cyclone for single target and then we'll do 
AOE. And we want it to be constant, um, meaning that as long as there's more than two mobs around us, this will be constantly attacking. And we want it to be within range. <coughs> so let's save this, save that. Uh, and then, oh, we also want to add the buff, Swell Life. So let's save this. So now let's head back up to Devius and we'll show you, I'll show you what all that, um, the result of all that will be when we get hunting here. And you'll notice that this is getting really low. We found that last episode. Um, the wizard ring from the event, the, the white wizard inv invasion, um, that just increases our damage 10%, uh, which is great. Um, and attack speed, which is great. Um, like I said, this is better for wizards because it increases the wizardry damage as well. So um, let's just talk to her here. Okay, the scroll of emperor, uh, which speaks, and this is how we get to the next quest, the next um, class. So the scroll of emperor, which speaks of Murin, the first emperor to unify Mu, is said to have been seen around the lost tower, Atlans, and the dungeon. If you've developed into a strong warrior, you will be able to find it. The scroll of emperor is enwrapped in a powerful force. Anyone who reads it shall be blessed with that powerful force. And I will spend a million zen, and I will go find it. So, <clears throat> this is where I'm going to introduce you to the uh, the lost tower. Now, if you were to follow this map and just head straight north, you'll fo you'll run into this area here, Devius Four. See, if just straight south here is the uh, the village. Up here is a popular questing or uh, hunting zone up here. The Ice Queens dwell up here. Uh, Ice Queens are uh, rather powerful early on. Um, they're not going to be difficult for us, obviously. But um, you notice that they last a lot longer than, than the other mobs that we've been fighting. Uh, and that's because they just have a lot more health and they do a lot of damage. So if you're playing the regular game and you're coming up against an Ice Queen... Um, and you're you know 20 at level 20 level 30 you're probably gonna want to back off um, she probably will kill you so anyway let's grab our silver silver metal and we'll head north and this is how we get to the, the tower now we can warp there through the warp command um, if we wanted to we could just scroll down and go to the lost tower or we could go to Atlans, um, and I will show you Atlans. Atlans is a really beautiful zone. Um, it was introduced in the game after I started playing it, so I've got a fondness for it. It was it was one of the first first that was added when I, when I was playing the game. So come in here, and now the uh, the Lost Tower is just um, it's just a map. You know, it's it's a series of maps stacked on top of each other, uh, so to speak. And if I hit tab here, it'll show us all of them. So uh, as we as we cross through here, um, it shows you all the levels. But let's run around. So the scroll of emperor is going to be found in the first six levels. Uh, you won't find it in the seventh level, um, regardless of what some people say. It's not up there. Uh, I suppose technically you could find it up there, but the chances of it dropping are better. Uh, in, in 1 through 6. My favorite spot to find it is in level 3, uh, which we will go to. We'll just make our way up there. Um, oh, why did I turn that on? This doesn't seem to be doing... Yeah, it's the same. Okay. These mobs are just taking a little while to die. That's fine. actually feels like I'm uh, I'm not going through as quickly as possible which is great <laughs> I like to actually <clears throat> play the game a little bit now anybody that's played the real game is gonna feel like uh, when they go to a private server they're gonna feel like this is this is blasting through it um, once we get several resets uh, that I'll show you what blasting through it's all about but this is rather slow for a private server, so and that's that's okay. Let's get that guy. Um, really, what we're looking for is is uh, 
I forget what they're called, death cows, <laughs> skeletal cows, I don't know. Um, we're looking for uh, dark wizards, which are going to be, um, they're going to be similar to the wizards that we can play. Um, they've got legendary armor on and the legendary shields and all that stuff, but uh, they can only do one spell. It's kind of fun. I, I've always wondered why um, there isn't more classes in the game that are similar to the ones that we, we can play. So, like, why isn't there any Dark Knights in the game that we can fight? But So, anytime you find a Lunar Rabbit, you want to you wanna kill it. Lunar Rabbits drop gold. Lots of gold. There's 23 million that we just picked up. That's a lot. So, you want to kill the Lunar Rabbits. And there's also... Um, Pouch of Blessing, I think is what they're called. Mm -hmm. It's it's a it's a mob. Normally, I think in the game, both of those things are pets that you can equip to yourself. In here, let's see. Uh, maybe not. Or maybe you just summon them, and they uh, they follow you around and give you better gold and stuff like that. But in this in this map, you can here we go. Pouch of Blessing. Yep, that was right. These guys also give a good amount of gold, so we want to kill them. Come back. That guy did not drop gold. Okay, once we get to level three, I'll show you where I grind for the uh, for the scroll of the emperor. And then if it doesn't drop right away, I will cut, and then we will, um, I'll be back once we find it. It's just going to drop from certain mobs. So you just run into the blue one, red is down. Oh well, red doesn't go down. Even if I walked all over this thing, it wouldn't take me back down. But, <coughs> blue is how you get up. Blue is what you're looking for. We can also come in, hit tab, and we can find, if we just follow this around, Okay, there's a there's a dark wizard or a cursed wizard rather. We can kill. These guys drop them. The scroll. See how we're dancing around like that? Uh, that's a really annoying mechanic of this game. Uh, when we go to Atlans, I'll show you. Uh, there's uh, lizard lord lizard. King, I think is what it's called, Lizard King, that uh, he casts a lightning that bounces you around, and then the other mob that's there with him is uh, has a has an ice spell that slows you down, so you can't really go get anything. Like you can't just can't move. It's really really annoying. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn on the helper for this one. There we go. Oh, you know what I should get? I should uh, I should buy some potions. We're still killing mobs faster than they can kill us, even in a group, so that's that's a good thing. We don't need we don't need health potions until we start probably going to Tarkan. Um, which we will after we get the scroll of Emperor. So And I'll show you um, I'll show you how to get to Atlins. It's through Noria, um, the elf starting zone. And um, Show you one. My favorite mob in the game is the Hydra. Hydra, I think is what it's called. Uh, it, yeah. It uh, it does a lot of damage. And and in, when I was playing the game, it took several players uh, fighting it to kill it. it. Has a lot of health and uh, does a lot of damage. It's really fun to fight. <laughs> Okay, so here we are coming up to uh, the third level, the entrance to the third level, and uh, I'll show you where I farm, probably where most people farm for the scroll of the emperors, right around this corner here, so if you teleport in, yeah, there's already somebody here, um, which is fine, like I won't, I won't bother him, I'll respect his area, but this is where I, I normally come, is this, is this floor, so you've got the cows in here, well if he's not picking up the gold, I will help myself. I don't want it to go to waste. So I'll just fight uh, mobs in this in this floor. 
Um, every single mob on this floor has a chance of dropping it, so I'll probably just find a spot where they spawn relatively quickly and um, throw on the Moo Helper and uh, wait for it to drop. But before we do that, let's add... Um, we'll start attacking this guy. Let's add Emperor to the list and save. That way, um, if it drops while I'm away from my computer or something, uh, the Moo Helper will pick it up. So it's really handy for picking up um, quest items. That way you can get levels and the quest item at the same time, which is really handy. So, um, so the Wind Helm plus Luck, that was an excellent item. Uh, I picked it up because we told it to pick up excellent items. <laughs> I love watching this thing. Now, when we get to a uh, Blade Master, we're gonna learn something. I, I think it's maybe it's later. Maybe it's the next uh, next one on. I'll have to do some research here while I'm AFK. But um, <clears throat> just to remind myself, but it uh, we can do something called combos. So we have the slashing ability. We have um, the twisting orb ability, and if we can find the um, rageful blow ability. I believe we can combine those at, for combos, which is great. So um, you need to have a weapon with skill on it in order to do combos. It's part of the requirement. And um, I should change that to be attacking me. But you see, because we've got a couple mobs that are in range, but they're not getting hit by that. It's okay. It's not costing us. Um, it's not costing us any mana really, and uh, it's dying fast enough. So, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna cut here uh, while this is while I'm hunting for this. Um, no doubt we're gonna get several levels. So we'll when I come back uh, with the scroll of emperor, um, uh, we'll add those stats, and we'll go back and turn the quest in. So, all right. We'll see you guys in a little bit once we find the scroll of emperor. All right, uh, we just found it. It just dropped um, many, many levels later. This is what it looks like. Scroll of the Emperor. So let's teleport back to Devius. Now, just to clarify what mobs dropped that, um, in Devius 4, the Ice Queen that I was telling you about on the way into the tower, she has a chance to drop it. Um, all of the mobs, including the Shadows, the Poison Shadows, Curse Wizards, and Death Cows, and Devils, uh, which are found in the Lost Tower. Now, Devils are found in the uh, seventh level of the tower as well, but there's only like two or three in the first hallway. After that, uh, you're really not going to find very many, if any at all. So technically, yes, it can be found in the seventh tower, but you're better off fighting any of the mobs from one through six in the tower. Um, in Atlans, uh, you're going to want to stick to Atlans one and two, and you're going to look there for uh, the ve the Vepper, a Vipar, I don't know how to say that word, Valkyrie, Silver Valkyrie, those three things, drop it. Uh, and then if you want to do Dungeon 2 and 3, um, which you're going to find um, Poison Bullfighter, Dark Knight, and a Gorgon there. Now, Dark Knight, don't get that confused. I know I just said that. I wish there was mobs that we could fight that are similar to the, to the Dark Knight. <laughs> uh, but they are nothing like they're nothing like uh, this this player so okay you have found the scroll of emperor of the emperor the commemoration of unification of the Mu emperor's first emperor Miran was recorded with the power of magic here you see the one who possesses the scroll of emperor is granted with great power proceed a historical record of the first emperor Miran contains the commemoration of peace through the triumph of Miran all over all warlords, and by doing so, it unified the continent into the Empire of Mu. Okay, Muran was one of the three uh, heroes that ended the chaos brought upon the people by Secnium's invasion. After the Empire was unified, people swore loyalty to the Emperor. Some of the treasures offered as a symbol of the loyalty are as follows. Magical artifacts may be found, and they are called Broken Sword, Tear of Elf, and Soul of Wizard. The Broken Sword was offered by the Dark Knights 
as the symbol of their bravery, loyalty, and their wish for prosperity. Tear of Elf was offered by the elves, of course, as a token of their vow to strengthen the power of elves and humans. The Soul of Wizard was offered by the Dark Wizards, of course, as a symbol of their vow to use their power for the peace and freedom of the Empire. Mu Year 10, an, ex an excerpt of the Commemoration of Peace record. Okay, so now, um, you, if you've read the Scroll of Emperor, seek out the broken sword that the ancient Dark Knights used at the Commemoration of Peace. Uh, from what I've heard, a few Dark Knights have found it in Atlans, the Lost Tower, and Tarkin. Uh, I will spend two million and go find it. Danger lurks behind every corner in those places, and the Broken Sword is not easily spotted. But if you find it, new power will be bestowed upon you. Return to me once you've found the Broken Sword. Okay, so we are going to go to um, Tarkin to find this. This is a good spot to find it. Um, the Let's see here. What we're looking for is the Broken Sword, so let's add that to our list. And just to let you guys know... Um, the resource that I'm using to find out, uh, just to remind me on everything, is MooOnlineFans.com. Let me type it out here. MooOnlineFansZ.com. It's a great, great resource. Uh, I believe they're up to date on everything. Um, broken. So, uh, that's, they, they even have a timer there on, um, when events are coming up. So, it's really great to keep track of, um, of events for the regular game and uh, things like that. So we're going to go look in... Uh, now, so this can be found in the Lost Tower, it said. So that's going to be found in 5 through 7. Uh, that can That's going to be um, the Dark Knight and the Death Gorgon. Uh, I can show you those real quick. Show you what those look like. I'm on now. Uh, they're going to be here in the first uh, first little bit of the of the seventh level of the tower, and this is also how you get to Icarus once we get our wings. Here's a here's a Death Knight. You'll notice that it's um, I I don't know what that is. I guess it's a big beastly thing. So that's a that's a Death Knight. The Death Gorgon is got a big fiery dude. He looks pretty cool. He's very similar to the Gorgons we saw in the in the in the dungeon, um, the third level of the dungeon, but they're the they're the uh, the death versions. They're yeah. So that guy's shooting lightning and bouncing me all over the place. That's the stuff that I don't like. So we're gonna run past these. I want to show you guys the death Gorgons, uh, and then I want to show you Atlans. Uh, kind of sh here's a death Gorgon right here. So they're they're just like a Gorgon, but they're on fire. Oh, and we also got quite a bit of levels. You'll notice that we got almost 100 levels searching for that, which is great. So let's add let's add that to strength. Okay, and let's hopefully do a little bit more damage here. Not too much more, but yeah. Hitting the 2,000 rank net, 2,000 mark now with crits. Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, let's stop bouncing him around. We'll just kill him this way. Okay, I want to show you uh, Atlans. So we're going to teleport to... Um, Noria, and I'll show you how to get there. We come down here, and we're going to follow the road southeast. Atlans is a great map. Um, I think in another life, I would have I would have liked to have been a marine biologist. Uh, I love water. And the ocean and, and everything that lives under there. Um, I know there's some creepy things that live under the water, but uh, I think they're all very cool. If they're ugly, they're cool. If they're uh, if they're not, then they're they serve the purpose of beauty. And I think underwater, the ocean is just beautiful. It's a beautiful place. I know there's a lot of danger and a lot of people have died in the ocean, but. <laughs> I still think it's a beautiful place. Okay, so here's here's Atlans. Uh, it's underwater, so once you go through that, that thing, we're swimming. And because our gloves are at least plus five, we can swim a lot faster. Um, got a little Bahamut fish there. 
Uh, once we if we open up our map here, we're going to go all the way around. Uh, Hetlands 2 starts around over here. Um, uh, down here in the corner, actually. So, uh, Great Bahamuts are here. Silver Valkyries are here. Um, Silver Valkyries are the ones that slow you. You notice that I'm slowed now. Oop, mobility is decreased. Um, so Silver Valkyries can drop what we're looking for. The Great Bahamuts can drop what we're looking for. Uh, we may get lucky here and just find what we're looking for right now. But uh, Tarkan is where I usually go to find it. Um, Tarkan, I believe, is... Uh, I'm trying to remember how to get there. May just warp there and then go backwards and show you where where the entrance to that is. Well, lots of gold. That's good. Okay, so uh, let's turn that off and we'll head to Atlans Three. If you just swim around, it's all one map. It's not like it's not like the Lost Tower where you can um, where you'll go through uh, a lot of levels and stuff like that. You don't need to. There's not entrances and exits. It's just one big map. And the teleport spots are for um, for the different specific spots in that map. So I want to show you the Hydra. Oh, we get to Tarkan through through Atlans, so this will be great. We'll show you the Hydra, and uh, probably won't kill it. It's got a lot of health. Uh, and you see what I mean? These guys slow you down, and then once we get to the Lizard Kings, which you, I think you saw a little bit up there, uh, the Lizard Kings. Um, you know, even though they're missing me, the ice still lands. Um, same with the, the the Lizard King's lightning. It'll miss me, but it'll still bounce me around. Um, which is frustrating. <laughs> really frustrating. So we'll try and swim through here. Um, we'll, probably might have, we'll probably have to kill these guys. So they're just going to be too annoying, probably. But we'll try, though. We'll try to skip them. Uh, here's, a, here's the Lunar Rabbit we want. We want its gold. Now remember, we need 150 million by the time we get to um, max level, and we have 80 or 67 right now, so we got a long ways to go. And we want to try and make wings. Uh, wings, like I said, just kind of make you hover above the ground. Uh, they make you move faster, uh, but they do more. They give you more damage, more defense, and stuff like that. So. Um, they're really, really, really good. Uh, they're a great item to have. Uh, the first level one, uh, the first level wings are really, really easy to get. And you see what I mean here? Um, just bouncing me all over the place. Okay. Just, just start killing. Stop worrying about getting anywhere. Just kill. Fine. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of here. No, these guys are going to pull me back. It's funny how they don't pull you forward. Okay, fine. This is my least favorite part of the map. Like, I just, that's the most annoying combination ever. That guy, uh, I had the same problem um, he had. Uh, he couldn't pick up the Ring of Honor. And that's because there was a glitch in, in when he turned in the quest for the um, Scroll of Emperor that it didn't actually um, take the item out of my inventory. So um, he might need to sell that. Oh, man. Okay, you guys you guys are going to ask for it. I'll kill you if you really want to die. Unbelievable. Wear fast loot broken sword. I kill mob 30 men. Uh, okay, so the <laughs> language in this game. Um, is, uh, broken sword. That's what we're looking for. Uh, 
Um, Okay, we'll just help him out there, because that's what we're looking forward to, so. And you know, killing these guys isn't the worst, I guess. These guys have a chance of dropping the Broken Sword itself, so. And I've tried to help people out on this uh, on this map, on this server, to uh, go check out MooOnlineFans.com, and the, the, the game moderators kind of scolded me for that. <laughs> They're like, we don't advertise here, and I'm like, well, I'm not advertising. I'm not from there. We don't advertise here. God, I'm not, I'm not advertising. <laughs> uh, I'm not selling anything. I'm not affiliated with them at all. I just, it's just a great website. So, whatever. Dude, knock it off. Okay, there's the Hydra. There is the Hydra. Let's turn this on. Let's see if we can kill it. Nope, he's gonna kill us. Holy cow. Okay, well, there's two of them now. Now let's get out of here. Get out. I don't have any potions with me either. That's really stupid. Look at all these lizard kings. Wow. Okay, so the exit is right here. If I can get right there. Right. Right there. Yes. <laughs> okay, so that's Atlans in a nutshell. I really, like I said, I have a, a passion for Atlans, but holy cow, it's annoying. Um, okay, so now that we know where the entrance is to Tarkin and how to get here, uh, I'm going to teleport back to, um, okay, let's do Noria, and we'll sell, I don't know if we can sell the wizard ring, because it's, the wizard ring it is broken all the way. Yeah, yeah, it gave us something. We'll pick up a hundred of these health potions. Now, the way, um, the way mana works, when you run out of mana, you will automatically drink uh, mana potion if you have it in there you don't have to give yourself you don't have to click on it so as long as you have mana potions in your inventory you won't ever run out of mana health potions on the other hand you have to drink if you have health potions and you run out of health you'll die you won't just drink a health potion so all right um well now that we're here let's drop some of these and see if we got anything good uh, a hand axe no not anymore uh, pendant of water, no. I want I want it to have an option on it. Uh, chaos card, yes, we'll take that. Uh, hand X, no. Okay. All right. Uh, let's sell uh, these two things. We're gonna sell this. We're gonna sell this. Yeah, we don't need it. And the rest of those things we're just gonna hang on to for later. Um, Sign of Lords is for when you're in a guild and uh, you're trying to get into the um, Chaos Castle or Castle Event or whatever it's called. Um, it's where guilds fight each other for access to a map. Now the map has some amazing uh, loot in it so it's very valuable and everybody everybody wants to, to be part of that. So that's that's one of our goals is to do that as well. We want to be part of a guild that does that event so that we can have access to it or has done the event and has access to it so because um, we want uh, we're looking for the excellent excellent items as we go along um, excellent end game items they're hard to find I know where to find the uh, the best gear for the dark knight um, the the non excellent version so uh, we're gonna hunt for those, and we're gonna try and upgrade them. That's gonna be what we're gonna be doing end game. Uh, we'll also be trying to get the third level wings uh, in the meantime. So, all right, let's head back to Tarkin, and um, now that we have health potions, make sure that this is giving it to us. Yep. Okay. And we have a broken sword set there, and let's come out and fight some of these mobs. Now, the the two mobs that we're looking for is a mutant and the bloody wolf. Uh, mutant is this thing right here. So we'll kill these. Let's add the rest of this. Add strength 90. I know my uh, keyboard is loud. 
I apologize. I hope that doesn't bother anybody. Um, so, all right. So these are the mutants. We'll kill these guys, and then I'll go show you what a bloody wolf looks like. And then uh, we'll set this guy to auto loot. Now, the last time I looked for the broken sword, uh, I was 398 levels before I found it. So that right there was a bloody wolf right there. That's that's the two mobs we're looking for right here. So we'll just farm these guys until we find the broken sword and I will be back after that and then we'll finish up the quest um, take a stab at making a couple wings uh, hopefully we get lucky and uh, then we'll call it an episode um, the next episode we are going to progress to uh, we are already high enough level to do the next series of quests um, and we will try to uh, to do that quest next time be, uh, and, and start off doing our combos which is awesome hopefully we find rageful blow by then uh, I think I already learned death stab nope and remember death stab is only something that we can learn um, while we're, we can only use while we're writing something so let's let's learn that real quick while we're here that's not letting me so that's okay We'll try it at some other point. Um, yeah, death stab. When you're when you're writing something like uh, something called a Unria, I think is the name of it. It's like a little um, what do they call those things from Final Fantasy? Uh, I keep wanting to say Pokemon. <laughs> anyway, whatever those. It looks like a little like a two-legged bird, like an ostrich with. Uh, yeah. Anyway. So that's what the Unria looks like. And um, the Fenrir is also another mount that you can put on, um, that you can you can ride on. Fenrir is the more, is the, the advanced version. Helps you do a lot more damage. Um, there's one, there's actually a version that does damage. There's a version that does, it reduces damage. And then there's a version that does both. And the version that does both, you can only get from winning an event. Um, so we will hopefully be doing taking part in that event as well so uh, as we level up here we're gonna be doing a bunch of resets and uh, I might uh, you know later on in the game after we've gone through quite of the con quite a bit of the content before I'm probably gonna be doing a lot of resets off of off camera to max our stats and um, and hunt for gear I'll bring you guys in every time I find something of course you know uh, and upgrade and and make it make it better but um, Pick up that gold, bro. Pick it up. What are you doing? Why is he not picking up the Zen? Okay, well, anyway. So that's our plan, is to get involved in all these events, and, it, and it'll be really fun to watch, um, see if anybody uh, catches on to these events. Um, I know that I have been looking for YouTube videos on these forever, so hopefully uh, these, these reach somebody and help somebody out. So anyway, I'll be back as soon as I find the broken sword, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright, we are back. That was relatively quick. Uh, we found the broken sword. Um, this is my questing area right here, the place that, or the hunting area, right outside uh, in this little alcove here. There's a bunch of spawns, and uh, that's where we found it. So let's teleport back to Devious. Broken sword looks just like this, right here. And we'll go turn that in. All right. Brave Dark Knight, you found the broken sword. After the unification of the of the Mu content, Mira and the first emperor broke his sword, Apocalypse, as a symbol of his wish that no war ever erupts again. What a nice guy. Okay, new power has been bestowed upon you as a result of your strong will and strength. May the grace of Lugard be with you at all times. Why, thank you. Now, if we go into C, I am now considered a Blade Knight. Let's add our strength. Um, so now we're level 314. Uh, at level 220, you have access to the next quest, which we won't get into today. We'll get into that next episode. Uh, we are far above that, which is great. Um, but now, before I started hunting, I tried to learn this, and it says it can only be learned by a blade knight, and I couldn't learn it before. Uh, well, apparently I can't learn it now either. There it goes. 
impale or death stab rather it's impale that you can only use on a on a mounted thing and death stab let's come out here show you what death stab does my little guy it's just a big stabby thing it does a lot of damage so that's probably going to let's see let's check out combos um, I believe death stab uh, can death stab be used for a combo no it can be the second one okay so we can do combos now we don't need Rachel blow so let's let's set that up in here combo oh right okay so yeah well that's what I'm doing first in order to use combo skill basic skill and activation skill should be registered first uh-huh uh-huh okay so we'll do this and we'll do this uh... yeah well i don't really want Oh yeah, twisting slashes when there's more than more than one mob. Uh, we'll turn that off. Oh, sweet. Delay in condition setting menus can't be available. Okay, well let's. I have never used combo on this before. Let's let's see what combo does. Combo, boom. Well, I don't see why that's any different. <laughs> According to the wiki, by using one of the combinations below the following and following the skills in the exact order listed, you will cause a destructive blow on the enemy surrounding you. Okay, well, we're starting off with... Uh, <laughs> All right, hold on. Let's go in here. We're starting off with Cyclone. That is a legitimate first skill. We're going to follow that up with Death Stab. That's correct. Death Stab then goes into Twisting Slash. A burst of energy then emerges from within the Night Soul, causing powerful destruction to any nearby enemies. The combo combination skill plus Death Stab plus Twisting Slash seems to be the quickest combo, which is what we're doing. So, okay, so that's how we do combos. That's pretty fun. Um, we'll just leave that going. And then, uh, what else do we want to do today? We wanted to check out before we run out of time. We're probably a little bit over time, but that's okay. Uh, let's check out trying to make ourselves some wings. So now, to make a wing, um, you have to first make um, chaos weapon of some sort. Now in order to make the chaos weapon uh, you have to have two plus four items I believe it is um, with with options on them and a jewel of chaos. So if I were to come in here and say okay this has uh, dragon armor plus six so that would qualify. Now underneath the luck section there uh, we have additional defense plus four. So this would qualify. So if I had this one and this one here, we could put those in the in a machine, and I'll show you that machine here in a second, that combines them to make a chaos weapon. Uh, we don't need to do that though, because chaos weapons are sold here in plenty. Uh, but before we do that, let's drop these. Don't want that. And then we'll go store what we have in the bank. We do want that. Let's see. Where'd that go? Yeah, that's mana recovery. We don't need that either. Um, we're looking for health recovery. That would be adequate. Uh, our case, so yeah, mana acquisition. So finding a bunch of oh, damage another damage decrease. There we go. HP recovery and damage decrease. I got two of them. That's great. That'll help a lot. Uh, I can't. In order to open this box, I have to go into the store, which is X, and I have to buy uh, use coins. Um, which I have to spend real money to get, so we're not going to do that. Um, 
we're going to sell that to a vendor. This can be sold, and the, this can be sold. And the rest of this I'm going to put in my vault. So let's head out to the vault real quick. The reason I'm doing this is because you need a certain amount of room in your inventory uh, for the wings in order to craft the wings. So I'm going to clean up my inventory. Uh, this is the only vault that works consistently. Well, it's not working right now. Dang it. Alright, I'm going to have to restart the game, so I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I just checked the length of the video, and, and we're, we have a long, long video. So I apologize about that, but we're going to uh, deposit these real quick, and then um, we'll make our wings, and uh, we'll take a stab at making wings anyway. And then we'll be, we'll be out for the day. So um, this is how you do it. So what you want to do is you want to grab um, the chaos weapon, is what you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna need a jewel of chaos. So that's really simple. This takes uh, this is two million to buy this. So left click here to buy that, and then eight hundred thousand for the jewel of chaos. So not too expensive on this server. And then you want to go to Noria here and head down to this is the chaos goblin machine. You click on here now to make the chaos weapon this is where you'll do that. You'll take those two items plus your chaos jewel, click on here, stick your items in here, and then hit combine. And that's how you make your chaos weapons. So, um, not too difficult. We we're going to make wings. This is how you upgrade items and say make wings. This is where you do most of your stuff. So regular combination. You can right click on your chaos weapon and your chaos jewel. Uh, you notice that the success rate is 100%, so we'll combine this. And we got wings for the elf. So we'll hold on to that head back to Elbland and uh, we're gonna grab a couple more things while we're here uh, we're gonna hope for level 2 wings as well um, so we'll grab another one of these I'll uh, we'll grab a Lox Feather which is another million and another Chaos Gem so this is how we make uh, level 2 wings you're gonna take the regular wing plus a Lox Feather now uh, Lox feather is made. Let me just double check. Uh, item the database. I believe a lox feather is used by making by using the original wing. Um, nope, it drops an Icarus from the Queen Rainier, uh, and I'll show you guys where those are. So, okay, let's try let's try again for the level one wings for the. Oh, okay, so we got wings for Summoner and the Elf. Uh, now to make the little two wings, um, so you would do that same combination until you got the wings of the Devil for for the Death Knight. So we're gonna put this in, and it's a little, it's 13%, which is probably gonna fail, and that's okay. Yeah. So if we wanted to do to have a better option of getting level two wings, uh, which we will eventually, um, we're gonna want to to get um, to upgrade the wings to level 7 at least. Now if we have wings that have have luck on them then we'll probably toss um, some some money into upgrading those but um, since we're not really made out of money right now we'll just try a couple more times here um, at, at the basic level wings. I kinda wanna rock the basic level wings for a little while unless we just get really lucky and get the second level wings but um, Probably not going to be the case. So uh, this probably isn't going to like how this is sorted out here. There we go. Combine. There we go. And there's uh, the plus luck. So we can put those on right away. And that's what wings look like. So I come out here and um, get the level one wings on. These guys are wearing the the level three wings. They're they're awesome. They probably spent a lot of time getting those. So those. That is our level 1 wings. Um, next episode, we're going to go for the next quest. We'll probably try for the level 2 wings at the same time. Um, but thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys again later. Bye.